Today on the Comic Book Report, we'll be doing an unboxing and brief overview for the Wolverine Omnibus Volume 1. Stick around and check it out. Hello, bub. My name is Dominic, and you're tuning in to the Comic Book Report, where we review comic books and graphic novels so you can get an idea of what to read. As I mentioned at the top, today we'll be taking a look at the Wolverine Volume 1 Omnibus, and I cannot wait to sink my claws in. But before we do, just a brief spoiler warning, I will be flipping through today's collection and commenting on a few plot points along the way. You've been warned. Now let's go ahead and get to that unboxing. Okay, and here's the box I got for the Wolverine Omnibus. Uh, I did pick this up from Organic Priced Books. I've been a buyer from them for a few months now. Got a couple uh, hardcover omnibuses and actually a few trade collections from them. I've been very pleased with their shipping, uh, their ordering system, uh, and they get things out pretty quickly. I've had no real problems with them, so I was eager to give them my business once again. They had a pretty good price on this omnibus, so I'm excited to go ahead and take a look. As I start to get the book out, I just want to say this was a dream collection for me. Uh, I've always been a fan of Wolverine, but I've only kind of dabbled in a lot of his solo stuff. And then I read the Madripoor Knights Epic Collection. I did a review for it a few months ago, and I just fell in love with some of his early stories. And I knew that if I had an opportunity to get this omnibus, I was in. As you can probably tell, I got a variant cover. I just preferred this artwork. Uh, there's also a standard edition cover. I'll give you like a little picture of what that looks like as well. But wow, I'm so excited to break into this bad boy. And here's just a quick flyby of some of the contents. We'll do a little bit more time on that in a minute. Now let's go ahead and take a look under that dust jacket. Right away, I'm so excited. It has some under the dust jacket art, and it actually shows both possible covers there for you. So regardless of which edition you get, you get a good look at both of the art pieces there. I do think that that under the dust jacket artwork is for this reprint onward. I don't think the first printing had this. Uh, so regardless of whether or not you're a fan, uh, that might just be something to be mindful of. I personally love seeing under the dust jacket artwork. In my mind, it's just bonus art. And I really like that I've seen this happen more commonly uh, with some of the comic book publishers. It's just such a great added facet for these books. And I just think it looks really great, especially with a collection like this. And if you're wondering what the heck I've been doing the last few seconds, I'm just stretching out the spine for the omnibus. I've been told this is really healthy for these books to do when you first get them. I'm not sure if it's true or not, but I've been doing it, uh, you know, especially as I've been collecting these omnibuses. Want to keep them in the best condition possible. And while I give you a couple more views of this collection, I want to dive into what this actually collects and strap in because this collects quite a bit. The Wolverine Omnibus Volume 1 Collection includes Marvel Comics Presents numbers 1 through 10 and 72 through 84. The Incredible Hulk issues 180 through 182 and issue 340. It also includes the Marvel Treasury Edition number 26, Best of Marvel Comics Wolverine issues 1 through 4, Uncanny X-Men issues 172 and 173, Kitty Pride and Wolverine issues 1 through 6, Captain America Annual number 8, Spider-Man vs. Wolverine Marvel Age Annual number 4, Wolverine issues 1 through 10, and finally, Punisher War Journal, issues 6 and 7. Whew, that took a minute. But I gotta say, that was one of the incentives of buying the Omnibus Edition. Unlike the epic collections I've seen so far for Wolverine, which really focus mostly on the Wolverine issues themselves, the Omnibus includes so many crossovers and early appearances. I love that this collection, as you probably can tell, it starts with Weapon X, 
which, you know, a great Wolverine story. It's kind of the origin of how he got the adamantium and the claws put into him. And it's, it's pretty wild for anyone who hasn't read it. And it's just one long streaming story presented at the beginning. Um, after that, uh, pretty soon after it goes into some of his first appearances and the issues of Hulk, uh, which was so cool that they included his first appearance. There's some odds and ends in there, like a bar fight he has with Hercules, which is pretty fun. It's just such a well-mapped collection, and I like how all-inclusive it is with a lot of this stuff. And while I do think it would have been a bit jarring based on how modern this thing is, I would have been cool to see the Wolverine origin uh, little, I think, six-issue series included in this, you know, that has like his real origin story, uh, James Howlett. Uh, that's another great collection if you've never read it. That's not included in here, but it is cool that we get Weapon X and his first appearances. Like a lot of the other omnibuses, we do have a couple introductions, uh, mostly from you know Marvel Masterworks or other hardcover collections that have been released previously. Um, but there are a couple kind of strewn throughout this omnibus from some of the creatives, and that is always great to see. Uh, like I said, I love seeing the first appearances reproduced here. I had never actually read the first appearances of him in this Hulk book. Um, and it's basically like a little three issue kind of Hulk story. Very little actual Wolverine in it. He's in it for maybe an issue and a third. <laughs> but it's a great story and it's so fun to have. I love seeing it reproduced here. After this story, uh, the collection is going to eventually roll into the Chris Claremont and Frank Miller four issue Wolverine miniseries. Now, this was my main draw for this omnibus, if I'm being totally honest with you. I have never owned this collection myself. I believe I borrowed it from a buddy maybe 10 years ago. He had a little collection that was just this Chris Claremont and Frank Miller story. You know, it's where Wolverine goes to Japan. He kind of fights for his beloved. And it really sets up Wolverine as this kind of gruff Western samurai kind of figure. We get to see a lot of his heart, which is in Japan, and we just get to see a fuller picture of who Wolverine is by himself. And it really is the launching pad for his solo series that comes after it. You know, the story is also pretty cool. It was the basis for the standalone The Wolverine film with Hugh Jackman. But I like a lot of those adaptations. It doesn't really bear much of a resemblance to the graphic novel. Uh, but, you know, that you could tell it, it was a source <laughs> material of some kind for it. Anyway, that was a must-read collection for me and a must-own. I knew I wanted it at some point, and so when I knew it was included in this omnibus, that was really the bait that kind of lured me into purchasing this, I think, if I'm honest with myself. And it's totally worth it. I want to admit as well, I have not completed this omnibus. Um, I've read a good portion of some of it, you know, especially what was included in the Madripoor Knights epic collection. Uh, but there are some things I haven't read yet, you know, like this Kitty Pride and Wolverine miniseries, some of those individual Uncanny X Men issues that are collected, and then a lot of those crossovers, like his crossover with Captain America and Spider Man and The Punisher. I haven't read any of these stories, and I'm really eager to, if I'm honest. I love seeing team-up books when they're done well, and I'm so excited to see some of the early Wolverine work there. As I mentioned, that was something that really set apart this omnibus as well, is how much it included. It's not just his solo series. It's all of these crossovers. It's all of these first appearances. It's all of these miniseries. And I really don't see that much in the Epic Collection line for Wolverine. So it's really great to have these collected. I believe this is something they continue into the Volume 2 Omnibus as well. My understanding is that includes some other crossover or miniseries kind of work. And again, I just love how they map this. I love what they include in their approach so far very pleased with what I found in this omnibus. Just a quick note I want to make about the book itself. This is an oversized hardcover collection. The paper quality is kind of that glossy kind of archival uh, print that's pretty common with some of the omnibuses. I will say I think that the initial printings of some of the earlier Marvel omnibuses had slightly thicker paper stock. 
Uh, these pages, while they are a nice glossy page, I'm not really worried about them ripping or anything. They are a bit thin. Uh, there's not a ton of bleed through, but sometimes if you shine it at the light just right, maybe a little. Uh, that being said, still really great quality paper. And to see these issues oversized is such a dream. Like I said, I fell in love with that Madripoor Knights epic collection, and so the fact that some of those issues are now reproduced with the oversized hardcover with this quality of pages, it really is a whole different ball game. It's so amazing. I uh, cannot recommend it enough, and so far, I'm just loving it. As I continue to flip through the book for you guys to take a look at, I just want to interject a quick personal note as well. This is just such a fun era for comics. The majority of this collection includes issues throughout the 80s and some of the early 90s. And this was an era of comics I largely ignored across my decade of reading comic books. And it's one I'm really diving into now. I've really been reading a lot of 80s books from the big two. You know, I've read some of the 80s Flash books, as well as the Wonder Woman books. I'm reading some of the 80s Superman. And then over here on the Marvel side, this is just a great example of awesome 80s comics. It's such a different era that doesn't feel like modern, but is so much different than like Silver Age stuff that I sometimes read as well. And even the art stylistically is such a different thing than today you know before you had a lot of the computer assisted stuff and it's just pretty breathtaking to see in this oversized format another thing i love seeing in this collection is how many issues occur overseas between the miniseries with him in japan or a lot of this collection that was in madripoor which even though it's a fictional location i think it's in like southeast asia area and you just feel kind of the geography and the different cultures presented in some of these books. And it's just such a fun reading experience. And if you like Wolverine and you've been interested in reading some of his earlier stuff, and like me, you haven't really been exposed to it, there's maybe no better time. Pick up that Madripoor Knights epic collection or pick up this omnibus. They're great reads and I'm telling you, they're worthwhile. I believe these issues as well are available on digital or things like Kindle for those that don't like the physical books like I do. Good, good stuff. And we're going to go ahead and finish up this unboxing overview with some of the special features or bonus features they include at the end. We got sketches. We have just different things here in the back that are worth seeing. Anyway, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Do you have any questions about this omnibus or about the early Wolverine appearances? Do you have this collection as well? What are your thoughts on it? I'd love to hear more from you guys. Hearing from you, building this community is one of my favorite parts of having my channel. And this book is one that I have loved so much so far. So I'd love to hear from others. And until next time, that's going to do it for the comic book report. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing or checking out some of my other videos. Have a good one.